Hi, this video wraps up the simple radio project. Uh, you can check the blog post and video for that, uh, for details on how to build it. It's so cool because it uses very few parts that even kids could solder onto this circuit board. And uh, it's almost guaranteed to work first time because there's no adjustments or coils or anything like that to wind. And also it uses no exotic components like variable capacitors, which are hard to find these days. Um, this is intended as a gift, so I decided to put it into a decorative tin can. And the first problem was how to drill the holes in the thin metal without anything getting bent. Um, so I used 8mm hole punches for the holes here and uh, the hole here. Um, but for the top, I couldn't do that. And you can't get very small hole punches. So uh, what I did was I used uh, low temperature plastic pellets called poly polydo. And the idea is you can put these into boiling water and melt them. They become transparent. And then what you can do is you can, you can press it into shape inside the lid so there's something solid to drill it onto. So I had this lump <laughs> inside there. Um, and you definitely need some grease or something like that on the inside as well. Otherwise it won't be removable afterwards uh, without boiling water on the lid or something like that. Uh, inside here, you can see I didn't do a great job sealing that, but that's just epoxy there, uh, just to make that airtight. And inside there is the antenna. And it's quite spacious, there's lots of room inside there. And everything fits quite nicely. And I use some more poly dough there to hold that circuit board in place, uh, which is a power thing. So the antenna can just be plugged in here. The antenna uh, connector here needs to be insulated from the metal can. So you need to find a way to do that if the socket isn't already insulated. That just plugs in here. And there's a crocodile clip uh, just on the end here so that this could be clipped onto uh, curtains or something high up so that you can uh, have the antenna vertical. I wanted to have the power LED, which is here, actually shine through somehow onto the headlights if I drilled holes there, but unfortunately the speaker was in the way, so I couldn't do that. I hope this was interesting, and uh, I'm going to try and use tin cans more often in projects in future, now that I've figured out how to drill holes without um, surfaces getting bent on the thin metal. Thanks for watching.